Welcome back to the Chef Anthony Test Kitchen. Of course, we have Chef Anthony in studio from Pittsburgh High School Culinary Arts. And we're making something super exciting today. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it implies uh, it has a Canadian name. Yes. Poutine. Apple pie poutine. Well, poutine is like cheese fries, gravy fries, but mm -hmm. we upscale it. So if you were doing a gravy fry, you would use the stock from whatever proteins that you're making for dinner that night to make okay. an appetizer. So if it was pork, you'd make it into a velouté uh, cream sauce. And you'd add like bacon lardons and cheese curds and scallions and just elevate it up from just traditional okay. fries with gravy smothered. So this time we're actually going to make it with apple pie. We're going to take an apple pie and we're going to convert it into poutine just because it's a nice but there's play no, on it. There's no actual gravy in no, it. No, the gravy is going okay. to be like with your apple pie filling. Okay, good. So I was a little bit worried. <laughs> oh, just a little bit. But if I don't worry a little bit, then you start to think I'm crazy. And um, speaking of people might think you're crazy or whatnot, I love the attire, but you want to explain? It's Spirit Week at PHS, and today is Country Club and Country, or versus Country. Country Club versus Country. Yes, yeah, so I have my hat and my flannel and my boots and my jeans and just rocking the whole comfort fit today. Okay, I like it. So we're gonna start with, this is my grandmother's no-fail pie crust. Okay. And we used to love this because the recipe always said that if you can't make it, grandma will come to you and make a pie. So we're gonna start with this recipe because it's super easy. We're gonna start with one cup of flour, half of a cup of shortening, and yes, use shortening versus butter. It's a must for this recipe. So this shortening is actually yellow. Is it a This is butter Crisco. Butter Crisco, okay. I like the little bit of butteriness that it gives. It's not a whole lot, but it's a little bit. Now we're gonna start to cut in our shortening. And you can pick up these nice little pot, these nice little paddles at our with our friends over at Allied Restaurant Supply. Okay. I get 20 of them for like eight bucks. All right. And they do wear out, but when you can buy them like that, you don't have to worry about them wearing out. If you don't have one of those, I know a lot of people cut their they crust do make like with a, a fork or something. Like you can do it with a fork. You can do it with an old pastry blender, which is the little handheld piece that curves and has the little blades at the bottom. Mm -hmm. But I find this just works easier. So we're going to start pushing, cutting this all together a little bit. Get it all nice and cut down into littler pieces, smaller pieces, not littler. English department's going to get on my case for my grammar. And we're going to add a little bit of water at a time, just a little bit. Too much, and then it'll just get clumpy? Or? It will get really tough. Okay. So we just added a little bit at a time, start to bring it together. And as you can see, it's starting to come together with just that little bit of water. So I'm really curious about the Spirit Week. What else have you had going on this week? Of course, it is homecoming for Pittsburgh High School yes. on Friday night. And, well, we yesterday, well, we had um, Adam Sandler Day. Oh. We had Class Colors Day, which is, for teachers, it was purple, as always. I love that one. Adam Sandler Day, so I channeled my inner Billy Madison. <laughs> and we had Camo Day yesterday, so I came in kitchen camouflage. Nobody got it. I had my really loud chef's pants and my favorite shoes and was trying to just do, they all asked me, well, you're not in camouflage. I said, yes, I am. Because if I walk into a kitchen, you won't find me. <laughs> and then tomorrow, I'm not exactly sure what tomorrow is. I think it's neon day. Really? Yeah. And there's a, all sorts of stuff to go along with it. The teachers are involved in a competitive dodgeball tournament, which is going to be kind of cool. Oh, when is this? Uh, Friday at our pep rally. Friday at the pep rally. That sounds like fun. Oh, I'm excited. So here we have our dough. We're starting to pull it out. It comes together real easy. There's no real hard work into this pie, into this dough recipe. And if you notice, I used have a lot of water, but I don't necessarily need a lot of water. It's sticky enough that it's going to pick up everything. Exactly. Here. Do you need this anymore? No, I don't think I will. Get out of your way for you. Give you a little more space. And just add it all together. And this crust is so fabulous. This was the one that I use when I go to competitions because it comes together perfect every time I make it. A mm. little bit of flour on my work surface. Now, 
Remember when you do, when they tell you to flour your work surface, it's not just to keep it from sticking, but your dough, if it needs a little extra flour, that's where it gets it. That's where it pulls it up from. So you definitely don't want to start over floured with your dough because while you're prepping it, you're going to be adding more. Exactly. So we're going to take this one. It's pretty much done. You can see how beautiful and soft and moldable it is. Mm -hmm. Makes it easy for a rollout. Flatten it out into a disc. Wrap it in plastic. Let it rest for at least half an hour. That way the gluten inside of it has a chance to relax. Doesn't become tough. Okay. And then when we come back, we'll roll this out, cut it into fry shaped strips, and bake it off. And we're going to make Nana's apple pie filling to go on top. Oh, that sounds delicious. Well, we will complete our apple pie poutine in the Chef Anthony Test Kitchen when we come back on KOM Morning News on Fox 14. Until then, we'll be right back. <laughs>